Take this no more. I'm finna snap. Oh, Officer Jamal, you you can't snap. You remember what happened last time? Huh? Ooh, sir, Officer Jamal. Ooh, sir. You you wanna know what happened the last time? Huh? Oh no, you don't, buddy. Now let's start from the beginning. I I ain't got all day. I'm I'm trying to play the game, little ugly dude. Detective Little Rod Rod has been a part of the department since it was formed, which was two weeks ago. Rod Rod and his team, Detective Nick and Detective Jamal, are investigating the passing of Ralph, who was the pet goldfish of their classmate, Timmy. We, we headed over to the scene now. It's a shame. A little old fish can't even swim in his own bowl without somebody hating. Yeah, we got Timmy in custody, but something telling me that there's more to the story. Detective Nick, what you got on the report? The owner of the fish is a Timmy Lewiskin, seven year old, blonde hair, blue eyes, about three foot six. Tim was having the birthday party, and he says everybody was having a good time in the backyard. Timmy then said while the grandma was fixing everybody's plates, he went inside to grab his jersey that he got for his birthday. He said everybody was used to him wearing Skechers. Are they Team Jordans or Retro? Look like they some their Jeelers. So yeah, they Team Jordans. Hmm, interesting. Please continue. Tim said when he was about to go to his room upstairs, he passed by his goldfish bowl. And he noticed Raffle floating in his bowl upside down. Tim began to cry and the party was pretty much canceled after that. All right, fellas, we we need to see if there's any footprints on the carpet. Cause, cause Timmy mama ain't like my mama. It it won't be no footprints in here cause, cause she don't play that running in and out. So Timmy, talk to me, buddy. Who do you think would wanna hurt Ralph? Wait, wait, wait. Before you answer that, let me ask you this. Why, why you didn't invite us to your birthday party, little, little ugly dude? I couldn't, but I really wanted to. Why? Why you couldn't, Mom? My mom would have told my dad to get his fat ass up and take me. And, and her would have got you a good gift, too, because cause she ain't finna have folks out here thinking we down bad. Down bad? Yeah. Don't, don't worry about it, Timmy. Just, just tell me why we couldn't come. I would have got in trouble if you were here. In trouble? Why? I... I know your mama don't think I'm a bad influencer. My, my IG got clean content. Not in trouble with my mom. It was Junior Junior. Junior Junior? Yeah, he wanted to give me the wedgie of the century if I invited you guys. He told me I was going to have to get surgery to get it out. A permanent thong. A permanent thong? Oh my goodness. I, I think I'm going to solve your case already. And Timmy, why, why are so many crumbs on this carpet? My, my mama would have been made me vacuum with my mess, cause, cause ain't nobody had it but you. Now, now where's she at? She's in the bathroom plunging the toilet. One of the kids took a dookie and stopped it up. Ah, I, I was gonna say hey, but never mind. Well, where Junior Junior at? He's still in the backyard. His dad hasn't picked him up yet. Well, 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 if it isn't Junior Junior. So, so you just can't leave the bullying at school? You, you gotta bring it to the birthday party and do this to a fish? 
What are you talking about, twerp? I didn't kill Timmy's stupid fish. I didn't even know he had a fish. <sighs> yes, yes you did, because you was the one that told him not to invite us. Right, fellas? Uh, I forgot to dress the air you for fingerprints. The tip, the run run, I'll be right back. Yeah, and, um, I got to dust the area for fingerprints. Wait, what? Where y'all going? <sighs> Looks like it's just me and you, twerp. Ooh-wee. Boy, I feel like a sumo wrestler. Please put me down, Junior Junior. You can scratch these drawers so far. My, my dad can feel them. When you push my nerves to the edge, you gotta feel the wedge. <sighs> I'll give you a dollar. I don't want no dollar. Well, what you want? I, I got a thousand dollar worth of coins on 2K. They all yours. Wait a minute. How how come all the food almost gone except for the tater salad? It it only looked like one spoonful came out of there. Because didn't nobody want that nasty behind tater salad? Timmy Mama put raisins in it. Raisins, raisins. That's it! Junior Junior, you a genius, man. The smartest man on earth. You need to join our detective team. Oh, stop complimenting me. <sighs> Let me put you down, because you acting like you finna call me boo. <sighs> Jamal, Nick, yo. Y'all in here playing the game, and Junior Junior done made me some new drawers. My, my daddy can fit these things. Oh, we thought y'all were playing. Yo, yo microwave with my Tupperware head room. I ain't gonna think I'm playing when, when I put you in the choco. <laughs> Timmy, you, you still ain't got this food off the couch, huh? Boy, all it'll take is two days with a black mama. Timmy! What? Who, who made the Rotel dip? Jasmine's mom. Who made the cocktail weenies? Devontae's mom. And, and who made the tater salad? Oh, that was my mom. Why? Why the tater salad is still on your plate, Timmy? Uh-oh. You ate the rotel. You ate the wings. But but you left the doggone tater salad right here on the plate. And and the raisins gone. Timmy, you fed Ralph the raisins. So Timmy wasn't lying. When when he came in while everybody was still outside, he he had to boo-boo. That's why the toilet stopped up. Okay, okay, you got me. My mom's potato salad tastes like a sand castle. <sighs> I thought if I took the raisins out, I could eat it and make her feel better. I used to have a dog, and when she cooked, I would give it to him. But I fed him some of her food one time, and he ran away. We could have just had Hot Pockets. Man, we little TV at the headquarters, didn't we? That's correct, Jamal. Let's get back. You who?